Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I am updating you on my favorite project pan and that is my Pan That Palette series. So if you want to know how I'm going on my palettes and I must say this month was very successful. I have three new pans. So if you want to see what I've hit pan on, then keep on watching. I've gone for a very strong blush moment today because I wanted to kind of test out and see what like a more intense blush moment would look like with this palette. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't hate it. Don't love it. It is what it is. So if you're wondering why I look like a little bit of a clown, that's why I was just testing out some new techniques. Well, a new technique, like the more intense blush technique. Um, just to see what it looked like with this palette. With all that being said, I might start off with this one right here, the Kevin Aquan blush, blush, the Kevin Aquan contour book. I've barely used this since I rolled it in. I have just been really enjoying my bronze, my bronze in my hourglass palette. So the radiant light. Um, in that palette, the powder. I use that as a bronzer. I'm wearing it as a bronzer today. I think it looks really nice and natural and glowy on my skin. So this one hasn't been getting all that much love. And then I have a highlighter in another project pan. So I've only been using this one a little bit. So I don't think there's going to be much progress, but we'll check anyway. So last month, this one was 177.47 grams. And now it weighs 176.96 grams. So I've used about half a gram. So still not too bad considering I've barely touched it. Well, I think I've barely touched it. So I'm happy to see like the number drop, even though I've barely touched it. And it looks like, like, you know, it looks like there's barely anywhere in the pans in this one. So we'll continue with it in the project. But like I said, I've been really enjoying a bronzer in another project and a highlighter in another project. So that's why that one's not getting all that much love at the moment. The next one I would like to update you on is my Too Faced Love Flush Wardrobe 16 hour blushes, very pigmented, very long. <laughs> this palette is super annoying, but I have hit pan. I have hit pan on Your Love is King. How good is that? And it's a pretty decent amount of pan. I think last month I did say that I thought that I would hit pan in this one. Um, so I did kind of really focus in on this one this past month just to try and hit pan. And then I, I used this one a little bit, like I mixed the two, but I was really focusing on this one because I knew the pan was close. So I wanted to really get there. And I think, I think next month, like I'm going to continue with this one. I'm going to see if maybe I can try and expand the pan. And then I would really like to hit pan on this one as well. I'm thinking my thought process at the moment is because I don't think I'm going to get any further than just these two by the end of the year. I'm thinking that once I hit pan on this one and then potentially use both of them up, if I still have time at the end of the year, I'm going to like put this one away for the rest of the year and just like enjoy my blush collection. So I think that's going to be my plan. If I hit pan on this one, so this is a love hangover. And then if I try and use both of them up, um, I think I might call it quits on this palette for this year. And then I guess we'll reassess in January. Um, I don't think I want to work on this palette for another year but I really want to get it out of my collection. So I'm kind of on the fence. I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking about maybe like destroying this palette and chopping off the ends just to make it a little bit of a smaller palette. So it's not so awkward in my collection, but I'm not quite sure whether I can be bothered doing that either. But I think that might be pretty easy to do because it's just cardboard. So I would have to take the mirror out, but the rest is just cardboard. So I think if I could get it down to a smaller palette, um, it definitely might, be happier to keep it in my collection because it's not so obnoxious. I don't love the formula. The formula is super pigmented, as you can see. Um, it, it's wearable. It's wearable. I wish it wasn't so densely packed. I wish these weren't as hard to get through, but I definitely want to try and completely use this palette up at some point. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But as I said, if I finish 
the two ones at the end by the end of the year i'm thinking that i might you know put this one on the back burner for the remainder of the year so if i finish this one by like november um i'm gonna enjoy the rest of august and uh, the rest of august i'm going to enjoy the rest of december and just like enjoy the blushes in my collection not just only use this one so this one last month weighed in 127.16 grams and now it weighs in at 126.54 grams so i've used 0.6 of a gram so i've i've kind of upped my usage this month which i'm super proud of hopefully i can maybe get a really decent amount of pan on your love is king by the end of next month and then potentially uh, i don't think i'll be able to hit pan on love hangover by the next month but i would like to get you know quite close to hitting pan on that one by next month as well And then the last one is my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And I have managed to hit pan on two shades in this palette. One of them is a really considerable amount. The other one is only quite tiny because I only just hit pan on it yesterday. But I have managed to hit pan on the color Tempura. And I have also managed to hit a tiny little bit of pan. I'm not quite sure if you can see it. But there is some pan on the color Love Letter as well. So super proud of myself with both of those. Like I said, Tempera is a really decent amount of pan. Love Letter, only quite tiny because for Love Letter, I use quite a small brush. I use this brush here. So it's a really small, small brush. So that's why I've managed to only hit a tiny little bit of pan on that one. Uh, next month, I would like to... I would like to hit pan on more shades next month, but I don't know whether that's going to be possible. The only one that I think might be semi possible is the color Raw Sienna because I do have, you know, a fairly decent amount of wear on that pan and it's getting a little dip. I think if I focused on that shade, I might be able to hit pan, maybe golden ochre, maybe burnt orange, but I would definitely have to wear them quite consistently and quite considerably over the next month. But I'm really happy to see another two pans in a palette. I think I'm really enjoying this palette, but I would like to move on to another palette. So I think I might keep this in for maybe another month. How long have I been working on this so far? Uh, we're going to the fourth month on this one. So I think I might keep this one in for another month. We'll see how I am feeling at the end of next month. And, you know, if I'm feeling like swapping, I will. If I want to continue on, um, I will. I think it would, it would definitely just depend on whether there's any shades that I'm like haven't quite hit pan on and I'm super close on, then I'll probably keep it in. But if I'm satisfied that maybe if I've hit another two pans, two or three pans, um, I might roll it out. So we'll see. This one last month weighed in at 185.42 grams. And this month it weighs in at 184.8 grams. So we actually, we actually dropped some weight this month. Thank God. So we dropped 0.62 grams, which is fantastic. Over half a gram dropped on this one. And I've really been enjoying this one again. I've really been enjoying the looks that I've been creating, especially with Love Letter. I did a look in... I think I was wearing it in my makeup lookbook tag or what video did I film yesterday? Maybe my swatch party video with my um, my Sydney Grace shadows. I think I was wearing a really like intense like eye with love letter and I put a Stila Magnificent Metal glitter on the lid. I loved how it looked. It was like a really blown out like pink raspberry eye. Loved how that one turned out. Really happy with you know, the way I'm progressing with this palette. And like I said, if I could hit pan on another two or three shades before I roll this one out, I'll be really, really happy. But I don't see myself keeping this palette in the project until the end of the year. I think I'll definitely get bored with this palette if I keep it in until the end of the year.
that's my update on my pen that palette series for 2020 let me know down in the comments box how you are going on any of your eyeshadow palettes that you're working on or any of your face palettes i would love to know if you've hit pan on anything if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the join button if you are interested in joining the membership all the good things down below <laughs> that's it for this video everyone i hope that you are having a fantastic day i hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and i will see you in the next video goodbye beautiful